Hey guys, this is EJ Holland with the Wolverine.com and I was at the Elite 11 Regional in Orlando, Florida over the weekend seeing on 300 Michigan quarterback commit Carter Smith. You saw him in that first clip running the 40. Let's start off with Carter's athleticism. He finished second in the event as far as athleticism score goes. He's six foot three. He's put on 12 pounds, so his on three profile actually list him at 175 he is currently 187 he squats more than 400 pounds he's been running in the four sixes all off season which is no surprise because he is a true dual threat quarterback we'll talk about that in a little bit but continuing on with his athletic profile i mean he's a guy that gives you a super high ceiling because of the athleticism the ability to create in and out of in and around the pocket and like i said he's a guy that can take off with it you can design runs for him so from an athleticism standpoint it's all there i think he'll easily play at over 200 pounds at the next level while maintaining that speed and even getting faster you know Carter ran a faster 40 time at this Elite 11 event than J.J. McCarthy did when he competed in the Elite 11 finals. So, you know, obviously J.J. was known as a guy that could use his legs and create and scamper for first downs. Carter, even more so of a threat as a runner, because at this point he has a more impressive build than J.J. did when J.J. was entering his senior season. So I think Carter outweighs him probably by you know, 10 to 15 pounds, you know, again, at the time that JJ was going into his senior campaign. And you look at last cycle, Michigan took a safer, more accurate quarterback in Jaden Davis, who didn't really have that athleticism um, to make plays around the pocket, to extend plays, to make plays with his feet. You know, you're not lacking that with Carter Smith. Now, from a pure passer standpoint, Carter still has some things to clean up, but I was really impressed with his performance, and you're seeing a lot of these throws. Look, there's no doubting the arm talent when it comes to Carter Smith. He, throw, he threw in the 90s as a baseball player, as a sophomore, which is pretty insane. Um, so the arm talent's definitely there. For him, it's always been about cleaning up the mechanics, cleaning up the footwork. And you see him going through the gauntlet here, and he ended up going 8 of 8, uh, which was, I think, you know, obviously one of the best uh, best scores there since he was perfect on this. And so even though he didn't get the Elite 11 finals invite on spot I, or on site, I thought he was one of the better quarterbacks, if not the best quarterback there, and definitely the best in the 2025 recruiting class. But again, going back to Carter cleaning things up, you know, he's put in a lot of work this offseason. You haven't seen Carter competing in the club seven on sevens or on the Under Armour camp circuit. He's been really working in the shadows he hired a private quarterback coach he's been going up to jacksonville to work with him and uh the quarterback coach coach hewlett actually works with brock purdy of the san francisco 49ers so you know you've seen me upload some carter smith clips here on our youtube channel in the past and i think in these clips you're seeing a better fundamental quarterback a guy that has definitely improved his mechanics that is improved his footwork that's improved his throwing motion and when i first saw carter he had really happy feet in the pocket i think he's sitting down on his throws a little bit more and i think over the course of this event you saw more accuracy from carter um here's a really weird drill that former michigan quarterback Devin Gardner ran but you're gonna see him uh turn around and zip it but look at the the footwork here I think uh was pretty good and and you again you saw him zip it right there so uh he's really coming along as a pure passer which is super exciting because he has one of the highest ceilings in the entire uh, in the entire country I mean as far as quarterbacks go they're isn't really a more exciting prospect at the position, in my opinion, than Carter Smith. Um, so you combine that with his ability when he actually has a helmet on, you know, right now you're seeing him throw in shorts and a t-shirt and Carter isn't made for this type of event. He didn't grow up 
uh, with a private quarterback coach. He just got one. He didn't grow up traveling around the country with the best seven on seven teams. He always split time between football and baseball. This is his first offseason dedicated fully to football. And then when he puts pads on, man, he will run you over. Um, he's a gamer. He knows how to win. He was the Gatorade player of the year in the state of Florida as a junior. So again, Carter Smith, really exciting prospect for Michigan and showed why at the Elite 11 Regional over the weekend.